A pair of new studies hope to answer the mystery behind the cause of migraines. Dr. Joshua Cohen is a neurologist at the Headache Institute of St. Luke's Hospital here in New York. Welcome. Thank you. Good so we know lighting causes uh, lighting. migraine headaches, uh, there are a whole range of other things, but is weather one of them? Yeah, so a lot of patients with migraine will notice that their headaches are worse around the time of storms. And typically, a day or two before a storm rolls in, they'll start to feel those, those headaches as the pressure changes. And we think the barometric pressure is the likely cause of the headaches around weather change. Millions of Americans have debilitating headaches. What causes migraines? So migraine is a genetic disorder. People with migraine are actually born with it, and at some point in their lives, the headaches will start. For women, that commonly occurs around the time of the menstrual period, uh, but a lot of different things can bring on migraine in people who are susceptible to it, uh, including stressful life events, head trauma, other things can start the headaches. To, uh, so if you have a migraine, what should you do? So there are a lot of different treatments available for migraine. Uh, oftentimes, patients will start with, with over-the-counter medications, but most people will need prescription medications that are more specifically targeted towards the changes in the brain that are happening during a migraine. I told you earlier that a friend of mine had acupuncture who was suffering from migraines and said it brought some relief. There are some good studies on acupuncture, and it is one of the uh, alternative treatments that we do employ in patients with migraine. We tend to approach each patient differently and, and to really tailor treatment to them individually. There is another study that says these triggers are overrated, and can things like chocolate or bright lights cause migraines? Or So there are a lot of different triggers for migraine, but we don't usually think of triggers as one-to-one, -one, so it's not that you are exposed to one trigger and then get a headache. We think of triggers actually as multifactorial, so it's it's not just that you're exposed to bright lights, but you're out in bright lights at a time where you didn't get good sleep the night before and you're having a really stressful day. So we, we do think that it's a combination of factors that typically brings on headaches. And so what are the best ways to prevent migraines? So for a lot of people, simple lifestyle changes can have a huge impact. Things like being well hydrated, eating regularly, sleeping on a good schedule and getting sufficient sleep, and exercising regularly. But for some people who have more frequent headaches, they may need to go on medication. What's the difference in a headache and a migraine? So migraine is a syndrome of the brain that predisposes you to headaches, and there's lots of different causes for headaches. But the headache itself is the same in terms of what you uh, feel inside. There's yeah. actually lots of different uh, things about migraine from other headache syndromes. Migraine typically is a one-sided headache with a lot of associated features. You know, and Dr. Cohen, when you came in, and I noticed that you're a neurologist with the Headache Institute, this is your specialty. I said first to you, do you suffer from migraines? And you said yes. So not only um, are you a patient in some ways, so you know a lot about this. What personally do you do in order to make sure migraines don't come on? So I also employ a lot of those lifestyle changes myself to make sure I don't get a headache. And I have good medication to use when I do get a headache to knock it out. For a while, I was even on preventative medicine to stop the headaches from happening. Wow. Well, that's okay. good information. Dr. Dr. Cohen, Cohen, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you very much.